Hey, welcome into the first ever episode of I Heart STEM, where I want to get you excited about all things science, technology, engineering, and math. I'm Leslie Dellery. I'm an engineer. I'm a little bit nerdy. And today we are going to kick it off with an episode that's going to combine pearls and the U.S. Army. You're watching I Heart STEM. Today we'll tackle one STEM topic I learned from experts. Just four key questions with each answer under one minute or less. So three things that I think are important to know about pearls, which you probably know some of them. The first and the most well known is that of all of the gemstones, pearls are the only gemstone that form from within a living creature. They form within a mollusk and actually while the mollusk is still living. Most gemstones form within the earth, most of them being formed within the crust and then peridot and diamonds actually form within the mantle of the earth. The second thing that's really interesting about pearls is they actually form by accident. So when a mollusk is created, it doesn't set out to create a pearl. It creates a pearl because something comes inside of it like a parasite or a little worm or even maybe a little piece of bone and it creates and starts excreting this nacre to protect itself, kind of like how our body does that with scar tissue. The third thing that's unique about pearls is while they're known as being a very soft gemstone because they're easily scratched, they actually are very tough and can withstand a lot of pressure. So what's interesting is there's a field of study that you can actually go into and get paid for known as biomimetics. And it's a really cool field of study where you actually get to study biological and natural processes. And scientists and engineers, they'll use the study of these natural processes to get ideas about how they could actually solve problems in engineering, in technology, in medicine. So what's interesting is scientists have actually been studying pearls for decades because pearls are known as nature's strongest material. But what scientists couldn't figure out until recently was why, even though other things in nature have a you know, similar microscopic structure, what makes pearls so much stronger and able to resist so much more pressure than other processes. All right, we're about to get all chemically, I don't even know if that's a word, but anyway, so nacre formed of two main things, concoilin, which is like a glue, and then you have something called arachnite, which is also known as calcium carbonate, and that is like a brick. So think about Legos kind of formed next to each other, alternating with a flat sheet. So you've got your Legos or your arachnite, and then your flat sheet is your concoilin, and they alternate as nacre is formed. So what's interesting is scientists knew about those two layers, but what they didn't realize is when pressure is applied to the pearl itself, the aragonite actually comes together and creates a harder layer and thereby increases the ability for it to withstand pressure. And then when it separates, it actually still maintains most of its resilience, which is unlike other materials in nature. Even though pearls have been studied for decades, these specific findings are going to revolutionize potentially the body armor industry. So the U.S. Army is taking something that they've been using for years, polyethylene, and this has been going on now for a couple of years, and they're basically alternating the structure of the polyethylene to alternate similar to the way that pearls have that alternating structure. What they think that's going to do is it's going to create a body armor that is up to 64% stronger than the current body armor, up to eight times lighter. And because of the substance itself, because of the way polyethylene works, it's going to be something that they can easily shape into other things and use for a lot of different purposes, like on ships, on helmets, on helicopters, and on body armor itself. So crazy. So I don't know about you, but I was pretty bored by this entire, this entire findings. I think it's so fascinating. And I, I feel like they should make some sort of a movie where the superhero is wearing pearls and, you know, the enemy can't, the enemy can't, can't kill them because they're wearing pearls because their pearls are so amazing. They just like dodge everything. Anyways, I'll see you next week.